Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. Well, uh, this week I've had loads of requests asking about the stands that I use for my iPad or iPhone, as you can see here. Now these are great stands from Slope. Uh, they come in two sizes and use nano foam pads to attach to your device, as well as having a pad underneath to stick to your work surface. Now the pads are super sticky and don't leave any residue, but if they do start to lose the stickiness, you can just give them a quick rub and they're like new. And you can find them over at deek.net. This week's main question is from Dave Price of Massachusetts. And Dave has actually sent dozens of questions, so maybe a, a name you might hear regularly on the tip show. Now Dave's question is, what's the safest way to access the internet to read email while traveling internationally? And to be honest, once you leave your home or office network, even if you're working in your local coffee shop, you really do need to take steps to protect your network access, not just for emails, but for all the services that you access across the internet. Now, my preferred solution is to install a software package called Cloak on my Mac, my iPad, and iPhone. Cloak acts as a VPN, or virtual private network, securing your data on untrusted and public networks. It sort of creates an encrypted connection between your device and Cloak's servers, so no one can locally snoop or intercept your data. And the good thing is, it's not just your email, it's anything that you do on any of your devices. It's really simple to set up and can be configured to work automatically whenever you connect to an untrusted network. Now I've already set Cloak up on my devices, so let me give you a quick demo on how it works. I've already downloaded and installed Cloak on both my Mac and the iPad, and I'm gonna demonstrate how it looks uh, when you actually do connect to an unsecured network. Now here at home, my standard network is this uh, HS network, at five gigahertz. So this is my trusted network. Uh, it's the one I control, so I've got no issues about using this particular network. This one here, this BT Hub 5, this could be a network or a router in a coffee shop. It could be in a library. It could be anywhere, but uh, let's say that I've got no control over this. So this is untrusted. So currently connected to my home network, if I go up to Cloak in the menu bar, you'll see that I'm connected to HS network five gigahertz, which is a trusted network considered secure. So everything is fine. Um, I've got no qualms. I can't be intercepted at home. Uh, so everything is hunky dory. However, if I go across to an unsecured network, again, this could be a coffee shop or anywhere where a public uh, Wi-Fi is, is available. Uh, it will log me in because I've logged me in before, but uh, watch what happens once it does make the connection. Right, overcloak enabled. So Cloak has uh, realized that we're now on an unsecured network and you can see in the menu bar, there's some activity going on. If we just give that a few seconds for it to establish a secure connection, uh, what will happen? There we go, it's turned blue. Cloak is now enabled. It's now automatically securing your connection. If I click on here, you'll see it's gone blue. So it's connected to this BT hub, but it's untrusted and it's secured with Cloak. So I can do anything on here now and be confident in the fact that my data can't get snooped. No one can intercept my data in the coffee shop. Uh, everything is nice and secure. So that's on the Mac. Uh, you can also set this up to uh, sort of pretend you're coming in from other countries if you have services that are geo-aware. For instance, I can go here, I can select the fastest available uh, Cloak VPN connection, or I can sort of pretend that I'm actually coming in from any of these countries. So if I wanted to pretend I'm actually in the United States, I can just select United States. But that's it on the Mac. Let's take a quick look across on the iPad, see how it works on the iPad. Now, again, across on the iPad, I've pre-installed Cloak. Uh, if I actually go into the Cloak application, you'll see that we're currently connected to my home network, which is trusted, so Cloak is currently off. Uh, if I go back to the home screen, let's go into settings. And this time I'm going to choose the same untrusted network, so this BT Hub 5. If I tap on there, that will log us in. You'll notice immediately that the VPN, the virtual private network, has actually connected. So I'm now connected to the unsecure network. If I come out of here, go back into Cloak again, and there we go, automatically Cloak has connected us to the network and has secured it um, with its virtual VPN directly to its server. So I'm confident now that um, my data is safe. It can't be hacked locally within the coffee shop uh, and everything is fine. And when I go back to my home network, it will automatically switch off and we'll have a non-secured connection again. Now you can see a more in-depth look at setting up Cloak in episodes 416 for the Mac and 127 for iOS, or search for Cloak on screencastonline.com. 
I'll be sending a Screencast Online baseball cap to Dave for such a great question. But that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget, you can receive a full video tutorial each week by becoming a Screencast Online member over at screencastonline.com or check out the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. But that's it for this week. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.